Welcome to September Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. We're highlighting two very interesting new studies. One is a cosmetic study aiming to make liposuction safer and a reconstructive study investigating if multiple finger transplantations are possible. There are over 200,000 liposuctions performed in this country annually. There has been little concrete data to exactly show how fat, how much fat can be safely removed from the body during liposuction. Surgeons have relied on their own estimates, various uh, adversities and advisories, and local restrictions. In this first article, researchers attempt to find out how much fat can be safely removed based upon a patient's BMI. By using statistical analysis, they were able to compare liposuction volume, body mass index, and postoperative complications. They found out that patients with a higher BMI or that weighed more could safely have more fat removed, which makes sense, but more than 100 milliliters per unit of BMI increased the risk of complications across the board. The authors conclude that liposuction is and remains a very safe procedure with a low risk of life-threatening complications if performed in the hands of a board-certified plastic surgeon. They also remind us that liposuction should always be performed by those that are board-certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Next, from the reconstructive side of plastic surgery, let's take a look at a new procedure that may help people who have had all of their fingers amputated. Currently, the only options available to such patients are multiple toe-to-hand transfers, which are, is a very complicated procedure, which allows the patient to regain some grip capabilities. However, after a decade of advancements in the science of face, arm, and hand level transplantations, these authors set out to determine if multiple digit allo transplantation or multiple digit transplants were indeed possible, and if it's possible to transfer four fingers and a thumb as a single unit. Very interesting concept. The authors investigated in the anatomy lab using 18 cadaver hands and they performed mock transplantations. These images, videos, and results are truly stunning. They determined that multiple digit allotransplantation is certainly anatomically feasible. The recipient's original hand structure would be preserved and a wider range of movements and finger functions would theoretically be possible. It is certainly an incredible feat for the future. This may truly represent a next step in improving reconstructive patients' bodies and lives in the upper extremity. To further discuss liposuction, transplantations, and any such procedures that are done by board-certified plastic surgeons in your area, please visit plasticsurgery.org and certainly turn to this month's issue of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery on YouTube, on Facebook and Twitter, and PlasticSurgeryJournal.com. See you in Boston at the meeting for plastic surgery.